few of you. Um, if you're not, uh, a spirit box, very generally speaking, is a hacked radio. So here's one, this is just a, a, a cost radio. It's been hacked to scan radio stations really quickly. So think about like 100 radio stations per minute. Um, you're only getting any one radio station for a fraction of a second, but sometimes three, four, or five words will come through. Might be the same voice, might be a response to something that we said or something going on in the moment. That's believed to possibly be spiritual communication. There's a few different types. So this is one that's hacked, not necessarily made for it. One that we'll be using a little bit later is called a PSB7. So the PSB7 is different because it's actually designed for this kind of stuff. So you can adjust how fast it's scanning. You can make it scan more quickly or more slowly. If it's scanning forward, if it's scanning backward, AM, FM, it's actually made for this type of work. Um, what we're going to be using in a minute, actually, with this box here is um, an app. So apps are similar to spirit boxes. The only difference is that instead of using radio, they have banks of sounds programmed in them. They don't program actual words into it. It'll play these sounds at random and you believe the spirits can possibly manipulate that to communicate. Um, now, like anything else that you do in the paranormal world, you don't want to count every single thing that you know could be a response as a response. We try to ask for direct, um, specific responses. We try to ask things specific to this building, its history, and we try to interact. Um, I've been always pretty skeptical of apps because things can be programmed into them, obviously. Um, so I, I kind of proceeded with caution when I started to use them, but I've been pretty impressed with the things that we've seen here. So we're going to show you a couple of those in just a minute. Background on this, we use a few different types of um, boxes when we use spirit box sessions. Uh, this is made with wood from two uh, reportedly haunted locations. One's called Monroe House and one's called Emmett House. Um, we definitely have encountered spirits here most of the time. It seems that they're from uh, Eloise. But we've also had instances, because we've got another box with uh, wood made from Eloise, that it seems that these boxes can sometimes possibly retain some of the energy from the place where they were. So the first time we ever used our Eloise box was at a farmhouse out in Taylor. Nothing to do with medical at all, just a regular house. Almost exclusively what came through was talk about doctors, nurses, they're talking about abortions, there's a male voice saying, not proud of what I've done. Um, so we, we do believe that we were talking to spirits from Eloise at that time, and that's the one of a lot of, of uh, instances of that happening. Uh, we're going to kick off uh, with a with a app called Necrophonic here in just a second. Um, Joe, that's all. Fair so we're going to ask questions here. You're more than welcome to jump in and ask questions too. It definitely does not have to be just us. We brought you a new group of visitors. Can you say hello to them? Can you say hello to us? We've talked to several nurses up here. Do we have any nurses with us? Do you want to try that? Try, try talking to him, maybe. You might actually. We've got a fellow nurse here for you. Can you say hello to her? Never 
parent for many, many years, and she said it was very sad when the state shut you down. Are you okay? No. Rude. Hi. I'm hearing a lot of leave here. Are you sad this place shut down or are you happy? This is busier than it usually is. I think I just told you to shut up. <laughs> it does that. <laughs> Do we have any patience with us? Can you say patient if you were? Do you want this building to stay or do you want it torn down? Not this one. Yeah, the rest of it are, yeah. Do you hate this building or do you love this building? I want to talk to the patients. Are you still sick or are you healed? Can you see us? Can you say I see you or I can't? Is there a shot here? Not that I know of. Sean again. Is Sean your name? Who is Sean? Can you tell me the name of this hospital? I know you know the name of this place. It starts with an E. What's it called?
Feels like they're leaving. They do that. They come in and out of I guess we do too. Mm -hmm. But there was like that. It was like so much chatter for a minute. You know, like they were talking and then it got quiet. I'm like, are you happy to see us? Or? We want to know in one word how you feel. Are you happy, sad, or angry? Happy. I think, so. I think several of them are answering. Like they are. Like <laughs> mm -hmm. What there? Something in German? <laughs> Are you speaking German? Now German has come through here before. Mm -hmm. it, it does. Done. Three. <laughs> Is there anybody here who took their own life? Can you say the word suicide if you did? Is there anybody with no. us whose body is buried in the cemetery across the street? Can you say the word cemetery for me, if that's you? What year do you think it is right now? Can you tell me what year it is? Is there something we can do to help you? They're just gonna say leave. Right. Well, sometimes they say other things. According to her, they don't. No, they're not saying anything. Hmm. Does this... Is this speaking in the room or in the whole building? We've actually heard from spirits in other floors when using this. So I don't think they have to be physically next to us. We can just pick them up? It seems like it. From what we've encountered. Oh, that they might say right now. Which floor are you on? Can you give me the number? Is there somewhere we should go? Besides home. Yeah. We're going to four. Can you are you gonna come with us to four? 